in my heart burst as you touched my face. Hi everyone. So please don't either look at this side or this side because I was doing one of the I can't make it up Friday videos and I got so into the story that I forgot this side had an eyeshadow that this side didn't have and I tried to compensate so it looks like a hot mess either look at one side or the other it does not matter uh, but welcome to Swatch Mouth Sunday and uh, we're actually going to be doing eyeshadows so with the new editing technology that I have I can actually like show it on the side and show you my arm instead of doing all this motion we're going to be talking about the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette I love green eyeshadows and for me I feel like they're kind of scarce they're either in like really colorful palettes and they're not that good or um, I was really excited about the uh, green shade in the Kat Von D fetish palette but for some reason I just didn't like it as much when I put it on uh, so when I heard about this I was really excited I can't really say anything bad about it so let's just jump right into it uh, this is not my first Huda Beauty palette the first one I got was the electric obsessions palette and I know that these look really small and you're probably like some of you might be hesitant because of the price but there's a lot of product in them trust me when I went to first get this one and I saw it and I'm like that's $30 and the cashier was like yeah and I'm like no don't say yeah all excited it ain't that good of a deal but trust me it is um it goes a long way like I seriously have barely dug into this and um or not barely dug into it. it looks like I barely dug into it but I go into it a lot as you can see on my Instagram um so back to the Emerald Obsessions palette um it's really cool that there's an all green palette because like I said I love green and this has some really cool ah if I can get open really cool shades in it. and actually I'll go ahead and put up the swatches on the side now so you can see them and we'll just be talking about Let's go with my favorites first because I have like a couple in here that I was really excited about and they did not disappoint. Um, first is the mint matte shade. Uh, mind you, none of these have names. It's just, you know, they're shades. And I'm not going to make up names to them because that just seems ridiculous. So I'll just call them what I think they look like. That mint matte shade um, is really pretty. It comes off fairly light even when I have like the... Uh, jumbo eye pencil from NYX on it it still comes out really light but it, it serves as a good like gradient shade you know when you're using a darker tone it, it it makes it very gradient and then the other one I was really excited about uh, is the other matte shade which is a nice like emeraldy green kind of like Wizard of Oz green this is a perfect Wizard of Oz palette to be honest um it has like a little bit, I would say, of a blue undertone to it, uh, but it's just super pretty. Not very dark either, and that's what I really like about it. And the other shade that I was really excited about is this nice olive shade down here, the brownish green. I love that shade. I know this sounds weird, but it kind of reminds me of like a 1950s or 60s color. Not eyeshadow color, but just a color because they had those like weird... Uh, like avant-garde art back then that had like greens in it like that color green it kind of this entire palette matches the um chairs the lounge chairs I have in my room like my chairs are super old from the 1960s and they have that like um kind of like an olivey green my boyfriend hates them uh but they're gonna be in our house <laughs> so yeah that's what it reminds me of um I can't say I dislike any of these shades, uh, but this one right up here is super glittery. And to me right now, as I'm holding it, it looks like it's just about to fall right out of the pan. Um, which most of those shades do. For some reason, these like uber glittery ones nowadays look like they're just about to chunk up and fall out. All these wonderful shimmers. I'm not a big shimmer person because I only use shimmers for my lid, but that'll, we'll get into that on the, um, the Talk It Tuesday video that I'm going to be filming up next. Yay. Um, but yeah, I mean, shimmer. the shimmers are cool. Um, I'll go ahead and pop the swatches again. 
right now. Um, as you can see on the swatches, there's, they're just really pretty solid colors. Um, there's one of them, I think it's this one down here, or up here in the first row. It's kind of light, um, but still it, you know, I use light colors on my lid, usually not this color, but to be honest for 27 bucks, this is a really nice palette. Um, there's a lot of product in them. I can't wait to use this. I, I only got to use it once and I do believe I deleted the pictures. They were in, this is what I used in the one video, the, um, the Legend of Fart Boy. So yeah, uh, um, I, I have used this a little bit. Um, but I can't wait to use it in something just, I don't know. I, I'll eventually come up with some looks and put them on my Instagram. That's actually going to wrap up this video. I know it wasn't that long, but this is a small palette. And uh, like I said earlier, I know that people have probably already swatched this and reviewed it online. I hate to be late to the game, but um, yeah, I just want to do that because I do want to review some eyeshadows. But um so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. Share me anywhere on your Facebook, whatever, Instagram. Um, I'm hearing a lot of positive feedback. I just want to thank you all so much for that. I also want to quickly thank my friend Kelly Honest for um, the wonderful intro video music. Um, she put out an EP recently called Clearly Departed, and you can find that on iTunes or YouTube. Just look up Kelly Hannes or uh, Kelly Hannes Clearly Departed. Uh, the song that I'm using uh, is a clip of her, the first song on her EP, Jaded, and I just love the song. She has a gorgeous voice, so I really wanted to uh, throw this in here and thank her so much. She's a really good friend and actually was one of the uh, driving factors in me doing uh, YouTube videos. So to have her gorgeous voice and her music, even if it's, I know it's brief uh, because I didn't want to make the intro video like a huge long thing. Uh, even though it's brief, you catch the gorgeous melodic voice of uh, my friend Kelly. So please check her out on uh, YouTube. These lights are kind of annoying. So <laughs> please check her out on YouTube and on iTunes. Thank you so much, Kelly, and um, you get nibs. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and as always, um, you can go to my Instagram, which, okay, these lights are really getting on my nerves. <laughs> Find me on Instagram at 90210makeup, that's 90H210Hmakeup. Uh, give me a follow, and I'll make sure to follow back. There's new looks every day, always putting up new content every day, so... Thank y'all for watching and have a happy Sunday.